Future Looks Computex 2011 coverage is brought to you by Kingston's new HyperX plug and play memory kits, NZXT's crafted gaming armor, and Gigabyte's G1 Killer Series gaming motherboards. Hi, my name is James Yavarino. I'm in charge of marketing for North America and Latin America for ECS. We're here at Computex 2011. Glad you guys can be with us. I'm going to give you a, a quick rundown of what's new uh, on the motherboard and graphics cards um, at this time of the show. Like many of the manufacturers, we're launching our 8990 FX M-A based on the AMD 990FX chipset, um, supporting the latest processors, uh, codenamed Bulldozer from AMD, socket AM3+, Plus, supporting DDR3. One of, the, one of the key features in our Black Series motherboard, we're basically having our more of a robust heat sink cooling system and featuring our new Cooltech 4 technology, also called uh, Chameleon. Chameleon basically with this badge, it indicates uh, to the end user the thermal temperatures by changing color. Uh, any, anytime you're approaching 50 degrees Celsius, it changes to orange and then beyond 60 degrees Celsius, it changes to red. Next to it, we have our uh, next generation mock-up of our Intel X79 based motherboard, X79R-A. Support the next generation uh, CPUs coming up end of next end of this year, early next year, as, as we're told on our timetables, uh, from our Black Series solution. As you'll see, it integrates now uh, features like Bluetooth, and some of the key features that we have in Black Series are re uh, back-end clear CMOS, onboard power and reset buttons, onboard LED uh, debug, and of course, some of the latest generations chipsets and graphics combinations available. Other solutions we have launching here at, at Computex 2011 are our, our, our A75-based motherboards, uh, codenamed Lano or Yano, whatever we might want to call it there, uh, socket FM1, FM, FM1 from AMD. A75 chipset supports the latest CPUs, which are microprocessors, graphics, micro, micro, or memory controller um, on board the CPU, supporting some of the cool uh, features from Black Series. Again, you have your HDMI, DVI, VGA, clear CMOS, USB 3.0, eight audio channels, and a variety of options for your upgradability. If you're not wanting to use the integrated graphics from the CPU, we have your PCI Express 16, 16X for, for upgradability. We have it in a variety of uh, ATX as this form factor. And this way we have two varieties in the micro ATX form factors. A75F-M, more compact, four slot uh, DDR3 solution, one PCI Express 16X. Again, the option to use your VGA, your integrated video via VGA, via DVI or HDMI. A slightly cost down version, 2 DDR3 solution, same on onboard video support, uh, VGA and HDMI. Those are some of the new boards we're launching here at Computex. We're excited about some of the offerings we're, we're, we're bringing to the, to the market this, this time or this time around. And you'll be seeing them in the market. Uh, I should say estimated time of availability is still to be determined. Prices are still to be determined, but check out uh, some of our key uh, uh, e-tailers like Newegg and Tiger Direct. So join me over here to our uh, mini ITX solution wall. We've got a variety of solutions from both Intel and AMD. We have H67, our new H61 solution for the, the person who wants a mini ITX uh, form factor but not have the budget for say an H67 solution. Uh, very affordable for uh, uh, a basic PC, uh, internet surfing or just an office uh, type of machine. We're also taking advantage of launching our uh, our, our solution for, for Brazos, which is the, the, uh, the Fusion solution from AMD. Based on the E350 uh, APU from AMD, has a variety of options for video output. DVI, VGA, and HDMI with integrated Bluetooth, 8 audio, uh, eight, 8 channel audio, and upgradability with the PCI Express uh, 16X uh, solution there. One of the key features that, that's, that's a little bit hard to see, but you have a mini PCI Express slot that's basically for your mini Wi-Fi 
card or the new SATA, the new M SATA solution, micro SATA solution that, that you can use for additional storage. We've got the the full line of reference board designs from NVIDIA, um, from your GTX 580 on down, GTX 560 Ti, and we're pushing our latest latest addition to the family, the GTX 560, and soon to be released uh, Black Series based on a GTX 560 overclocked version with a third-party cooling solution. So that's a little bit of wrap-ups of, of what we have here to show at Computex 2011. I'm happy you could have, you could join us. Thanks to the Future Looks family. This is James Everino from ECS. Over and out.